Welcome to Cabsaparts Automotive Limited. Today, we will be talking about AC condenser and how it works. What is an AC condenser? The AC condenser serves as a heat exchanger. When a heated gas or vapor is cooled to the point of condensation by a condenser, it condenses into a liquid. Additionally, the condenser functions to lower the refrigerant's temperature when condensation is taking place. A cool liquid will be produced after the warm temperature is successfully cooled and will be released through the vehicle's air conditioner holes. How does the AC condenser work? Heat exchange and pressure gradients are the key factors. On which air conditioner condensers work in a nearly closed system in the car? A substance known as refrigerant is transformed from liquid to gas and back again. The AC condenser plays a crucial role in this process. This needs pressure gradients to function properly. So any leaks will eventually lead to system failure. Gaseous refrigerant is pressurized by the air conditioner. Compressor, which is driven by the car's crankshaft. The AC system switches from low pressure to high pressure at this phase of the cycle. This high pressure refrigerant then travels to the air conditioner condenser, which is located at the front of the car and looks like a small radiator where heat is removed from the refrigerant by being transferred to outside air, flowing over it. As a result, the gas condenses once again into a liquid. The receiver dryer accumulator collects the cooled liquid and removes any debris and excess moisture. The refrigerant then moves to the orifice tube or expansion valve, which has a small opening intended to let only a small amount of liquid through at a time. This releases pressure from the substance returning us to the system's low-pressure side. The next stop for this very cool, low-pressure liquid is the evaporator, which is often found behind the dashboard on the passenger side. An AC blower fan circulates cabin air through the evaporator as the refrigerant passes through it. The air is cooled before it is pumped through the dash and into the cabin by the refrigerant, which absorbs heat from the air and causes the liquid to boil and convert back into a gas. The warmed gaseous refrigerant then circulates back toward the air conditioning compressor. To complete the process, what causes the AC condenser to fail? Here are some of the things that can cause an AC condenser to fail. 1. Debris. Any debris that enters your air conditioning system could impede refrigerant flow or harm your condenser by damaging it as it passes through. A damaged compressor which spews out tiny metallic particles, is frequently the source of debris in your air. Conditioning system. If your car experiences this problem, you will need to completely repair the compressor and the condenser. 2. Dirty coil. For the condenser to work properly, the coils must be kept clean, otherwise the unit would overheat. Using a coil brush or vacuum cleaner, you can clean the coils yourself or hire a professional to do it for you. A hose should be used to spray water down the coils of the air conditioning condenser until they are thoroughly wet. After cleaning the coils of any caked on debris with an old brush dipped in vinegar, rinse them with water. You should contact a professional if you see any corrosion around the compressor's fins. Or elsewhere, avoid attempting any DIY fixes unless you are confident in your ability to handle them. Air conditioning condenser issues are best left mostly to professionals. Problem with the AC condenser fan. Your air conditioner's condenser could overheat. If the fan isn't functioning, bent blades, motor failures, and blown capacitors are a few issues that can arise with the condenser fan. Since air conditioners require adequate airflow to function properly, a jammed fan will prevent the air conditioner from functioning as intended. You can attempt a few alternative DIY solutions before calling a professional, but if they don't work, you should. A tree or bush may be blocking the fan, or it may just be dirty and in need of cleaning. You can either hire a professional to clean it for you, or attempt cleaning it yourself using a vacuum cleaner or coil brush. Refrigerant leak. Problems with the air conditioning condenser might also be brought on by refrigerant line leaks. The refrigerant won't be reused if there is a leak in the line. It will instead escape into the atmosphere. Refrigerant recycling is one of the reasons. Air conditioners are so efficient. However, if there is a leak, this recycling is impeded. 
and the unit will have to work considerably harder to cool the cabin. Where is the AC condenser located? The AC condenser of your car is located right in front of the radiator due to its location. It has easy access to the air you breathe while driving, which helps cool the refrigerant. The condenser is visible in front of the radiator, but getting to it can be challenging, although it often depends on how your car is set up. The condenser is placed between the radiator and the front bumper, making access to it nearly impossible without taking apart other components. What are some signs that your car's AC condenser is going bad? Below are some of the signs and symptoms you will notice. If the AC condenser is going bad, 1. The cold air is not coming from the vents. The air won't be as cool as it should be. If there is any sort of issue with your car's air conditioning system, that reasoning still applies if the condenser is also the issue. While there are several problems that might cause an air conditioner to stop blowing cold air, a broken condenser is unquestionably one of them. It's frequently the first indication that you have a deeper issue. Watch for any green fluid near your condenser if you see any. Your car is leaking. Additionally, once you've used up all of your refrigerant, it should continue to exist for some time. Therefore, your car has a leak if you check the refrigerant levels you'll need a pressure gauge with an adapter and they drop quickly. 2. Burning smell. There may be unpleasant side effects if you turn up the air conditioning. While it isn't functioning properly, the overheating of the earth sea parts is one of the most frequent. When the overheating is severe enough, plastic and other parts may start to melt. IC parts are what are burning when you notice a burning smell. Coming from your vents until you fix the problem, keep the IC off, otherwise. You run the risk of doing more harm and setting your car on fire. 3. Refrigerant leak. Leaks are among the most frequent issues that an AC condenser may experience. While many individuals are aware of the signs of common fluid leaks, it might be more difficult to detect refrigerant leakage. To begin with, refrigerant is green and typically leaks as a gas. But depending on where the leak occurs, it may emerge as a liquid near the condenser. 4. Car engine overheating while idling. When the condenser stops functioning properly, it can quickly reach very high temperatures. While these high temperatures can cause various parts to melt or become damaged, they can also cause your car to overheat. Usually, this only occurs after prolonged idle time. If not, the air flowing over the engine while you drive is sufficient to prevent overheating. The radiator behind the condenser may not receive enough cooling. If the condenser's fins are obstructed, this can occur if your car is really old but it also occurs less frequently. 5. Warning lights from the dashboard. Dashboard warning lights for AC issues are uncommon in most cars, however. They are present in certain newer models. The condenser may be the issue if your car's air conditioning light is on. And it's a good sign that anything is wrong with the system. That will be all for today. To get any original car part anywhere in Nigeria, please visit www.comcparts.com